Well, greetings, viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. And as I've mentioned many times before, I'm a parent. And even before I was a parent, I had some pretty strong views on parenting. And now that my children have grown up and I can see the results of my parenting efforts, uh, I have even stronger views about raising children, you know, the do's and the don'ts and so forth. However, it's my personal opinion that uh, shy of child abuse, every parent is entitled to raise their children in whatever way he or she or they see fit. Uh, that being said, I find it frustrating and very interesting uh, the recent brouhaha stateside regarding um, reactions to some of the performances at the recent Grammy Awards. Uh, this kind of shit's been going on off and on for decades. Uh, it was 1956 when Elvis first shook his hips, barely shook his hips, on the Ed Sullivan show, and parents across the nation collectively lost their shit. Um, people's sensibilities are so easy to offend sometimes, it blows my mind. I think in 1965, John Lennon said that... Uh, Young people cared more about the Beatles than they cared about Jesus, which was a straightforward, most likely true statement. And you had Christians all over America uh, throwing Beatles records into the street and jumping up and down on them as a result. So it's very easy to offend people's sensibilities. I think uh, anybody in the public sphere, be they a politician, uh, a celebrity of whatever nature, hell, even people on YouTube, um, when you put yourself in the public domain, uh, you are more or less guaranteed to offend someone sometimes. Some people make it a living out of being offensive, and that's fine. But what I really, really don't understand is how there seems to have been, certainly since the 80s onwards, there seems to be some sort of idea that people in the public domain have some sort of obligation to their audience or to the wider public to be some kind of role model. If that's true, then I'm in really big trouble on Got That Funk because on this channel I have absolutely no intention of being portrayed or portraying myself as a, as a paragon of moral virtue fucking far from it. I've been very candid about myself and my life on this channel and I've spoken about uh, past experiences openly and honestly. And if I owe my audience anything, it's not to set an example, it's to be honest or as honest as I feel comfortable being. Um, I want to entertain people and inform people. I don't want people to try to emulate me. Uh, I wouldn't imagine why anyone would want to. When I was raising my own children, um, before they started going to school, I, I tried to give them some pointers about sort of, you know, how to socialize and, and the do's and don'ts. And, you know, I, I mentioned to both my kids when they were growing up that um, it's very tempting when you're a kid to look at people that you admire, be they other kids in your class or wherever else and think that uh, they're really cool and you know you you might want to emulate their behavior or their persona um, but I you know I said to, to my kids straight up that that's not really wise you know we're all individuals every single person is different some people are going to be good at this while other people are going to be good at that no one likes everybody else no one is liked by everybody else so don't even try it's pointless to try it's pointless to try to do anything other then be yourself, being honest to yourself and about yourself and with yourself. And I like to think it's a lesson that both my kids have taken on board with gusto. Um, so, you know, as far as I'm concerned anyway, I think the lesson was a good one. Now, if you're the type of person who is raising kids and you want to protect your children, that's a natural impulse, and I can't do anything other than respect the impulse, but sometimes I wonder why people take it so far. I mean, when people are losing their collective shit over, say, Miley Cyrus twerking a few months ago, or Beyonce's performance the other night on the Grammys, 
I have to ask you, if you're going to lose your shit about that because of the children, the poor children, uh, where are you for the rest of the day with your kids? Uh, because, quite frankly, the only role model in your child's life should be yourselves, the family members, you know, uh, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, whoever the kids are close to. Uh, uh, you know, if you want your kids to have a role model, look in the mirror and ask yourself a couple of questions. Have your children ever seen you lie to someone else? Have your children ever seen you break the law, even if it's speeding in your car? You know, um, have your children ever seen you make excuses for why it's okay for you to do something that they know you're not supposed to do, but on this particular instance, it's okay? You know, and if the answer is yes to any of those, you've got no right, really, to uh, complain about what's on television. You need to do some work on your own role as a role model. That's my opinion. Um, I think everybody has their own flaws, their own idiosyncrasies, you know. We are all inevitably going to make mistakes, and that's okay, as long as we don't actually cause anybody physical harm when we make those mistakes. Uh, we can usually learn from them and maybe even sometimes make up for them. Uh, I do find it a little bit interesting, uh, I note recently in the newspapers that, uh, the leader of France, his wife is now, uh, she's estranged, she's left, uh, their marriage has fallen apart, and he is still the president. I think if uh, Michelle Obama said, fuck you Barack, I'm out of here, and left the White House, um, the USA would have a f media frenzy, and Barack Obama would eventually end up having to resign from his job. So why is it in America we hold our public figures to such unrealistically high expectations and standards. Um, like I said, every individual, be they famous or not, has their own idiosyncrasies. We all make mistakes, and if you're going to put someone's life under a microscope, you are guaranteed to find those flaws. So if you know you're going to find flaws because you're looking for flaws, jumping up and down like an orangutan and losing your shit about it is just retarded. It's asinine. Why put these kinds of expectations on our public figures? Do you really think that your young people in your household admire public figures that they admire so much because they want to be just like them or because they like what they do? I would argue that, and more often than not, it's the latter, that they like what they do. They don't necessarily want to be like them. And even if they did want to be like them, being like them is almost always completely outside of possibility. Because we can't be other people. We can only be ourselves. Not everybody has the same gifts. Like I said again, uh, it's worth repeating. The only role model your kids need is you. And you need to step up to the plate. You need to be someone that you could be proud that your kids emulate. Um, yeah, I'm more or less done with the video. I, I think that's going to be it. If you have any questions, um, you want to tear me a new asshole because you think I've overstepped the mark, whatever, uh, feel free to do so in the comments down below. I want to thank you for watching this video. I know I had something else I wanted to say, but I seem to have forgotten, so I'm going to sign off. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.